Hello, my celestial Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, or click that notification bell so you can continue to get more content from me, okay? And then if you're already a part of the celestial kingdom, we back with another one, okay? So... Yes, Virgos, this is the second month in a row that you are number one. Number one, y'all killing it. <laughs> so I just want to thank you all for the support and the love that you all uh, show for this channel. And I want to continue to um, give you guidance throughout the months and the years to come. Because I want to continue doing this type of work with channels. So... If you want to book a private reading with me, you're definitely welcome to. You can hit me up at mysticstorm333 at gmail.com. And also, I am doing daily card readings on my Instagram as well as like affirmations. And there'll be some more things to come. So make sure you check out my social media accounts. It's mysticstorm333. Okay? So let's dive into it. So, I went into a brief meditation for you all, my Virgos, and the color I seen was yellow. So, that's definitely confidence, solar plexus chakra, right? And what I heard is, you know, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to, this is the time where you have to go about yeah, just stand enough for yourself. You can't give up now. And also I heard fight for what's right, which is crazy because the song, uh, I actually have a song with uh, this band called Meraki Fire and we had this song called fight for what's right. And that's very appropriate for what's going on right now as far as the riots and all that stuff for um, Black Lives Matter. So just take that into consideration that you have to gain confidence and you might have to gain confidence to speak up for yourself and to speak up for others that need that assistance, okay? So, all right, Virgos, let's get into it, shall we? Um, we're gonna start with the Insight Oracle. But I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy a little bit with some Palo Santo. If it will burn. Ow! I just burned myself with the incense. Probably because I was using my left hand. Alright. There we go. Definitely need to cleanse the space if that's the case. <laughs> All right. Cleanse the space here. It's Palo Santo. Don't want to act like it won't want. want to light up. There you go. Some for you all. And then a little bit for me. Whew. All right. All right, spirit. Let's get this message for my Virgos. What do we have in store for you for June 2020? Now, I will say, guys, we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up on the 18th. We also have a Neptune retrograde coming up, I believe, the 23rd of June. So keep those in mind. Alright. Alright, Spirit, what message do you have for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. that presence seem like it want to hop out again sacral chakra sacral chakra it came out in reverse here it's a little loud hey google turn it down five percent still 
still a little loud, but it should be, it's a little better. So, <laughs> the sacral chakra here in reverse, this is where that confidence is going on. It. I did say solar plexus, but the sacral chakra is right below the solar plexus. So, there might be some things that um, you need to bring out, especially being confident. And you might have to be more confident in your creativity. If you've been wanting to create something or um, do more, speak out more. If you, I'm seeing you speak out more. If you want to be more aggressive on social media or if you want to be more uh, just in the know, just being more outwardly expressing yourself, this, uh, this is the time to do so, especially since... Mars is going to be in Aries at the end of this month. So you can definitely use that as momentum to move toward your desires, okay? So that's good. Let's get into the psychic tarot. Let's see what messages we have. So yeah. What I feel like your sacral chakra is definitely it's it might be blocked because you have s some issues with confidence with your solar plexus. So don't be afraid to create, stand your ground, be confident in yourself, and put yourself out there. Just so you have for my Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of June 2020. Okay. That's a lot of cards. Obstacles and challenges. That's in reverse. I feel like you're coming out of this funk that you might have been in. Material harvest. It came out in reverse. Okay. I see where that's going. Let's see. The universe. Okay. And one more. New beginnings. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's get into this, okay? So... I feel like with the obstacles and challenges being in reverse, that you're coming out of this sense. You're gaining more confidence, right? You see the yellow, you're protected. You have, you're gaining more confidence, right, for the month because any challenges that have made you sh be shaken up and feel like you can't do it, feel like you're not in the creative space to go about executing what you want and desire in this life, that you're going to move past that but i feel like also if you don't if you, you still might have some challenges and with that you can't really clearly see you have doubts that whatever um whatever you're trying to put your all into your your soul you're trying to create you feel like it's not going to bring you fulfillment. It's not going to give you money or stability. But if you think this way, then it won't happen. You have to believe whatever it is that you are wanting to create and go about, you have to have faith in it. You have to have confidence in it. And you have to fight for what you believe in. So with that, I feel like that's going to be the challenge for you for June. But if you definitely rely and give your fears, give your doubts to the universe, this would definitely turn around for you. Okay? So if you are going through anything, if you have any trauma, if you are 
having writer's block, if you're struggling to create or you have this vision, but you don't know how to how to begin or where to begin, if you're having fear and doubt that you're not good enough, give all of that to the universe and let the universe guide you to your manifestation, guide you to your dreams because you are creative. You just have to work towards it. You have to build that confidence. Because the sacral chakra is orange here. But all I'm looking at is the yellow that's beaming out of it. That's why you don't have that confidence, that yellow beam yet. But you have to work towards it. You have to build yourself up. Okay? And I always feel like this, the solar plexus, it's so important it's like a ray of sunshine to all of the chakras, 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 chakras. I, I, think, I feel like I've been saying it wrong <laughs> this whole time, but it's it, it plays a, a key part, but it's in the background. It's in the background, but we need that in order to bring this upright. All right. So that's beautiful and once you work on this work on your confidence uh, don't have any more doubts that you you won't get fulfillment from this you have to know you're divinely protected here you see that yellow again so there's no obstacles I feel like it's all in your head if you again just give it to the universe give it to God you are going to have a bright and fresh new beginning. So yeah, have confidence. Stand your ground. Be firm in it and what you believe. Create. Express yourself openly. Be confident in yourself and watch how you will flourish. So beautiful. So let's close out here with the wild offering. Let's see what additional messages spirit has for you. Virgo, this is beautiful. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to know that you are the creator and that you are able to create and transmute energy in order to have this fresh and bright new beginning. Okay. All right. What's the final message here for my Virgos? Yes. This is intention. Intention. So it says intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. So this is definite. This is beautiful because look at all the butterflies. Look at all this. Look at this transformation that you're going to do because you're setting intentions and you're giving all your fears and doubts to the universe. You're telling the universe what it is you desire and you're being confident in it. It's time to, to wake up. Wake up that solar plexus. Wake up that sacral chakra. Show some love and creativity to yourself. And open up for these fresh new beginnings. Okay? So, this is beautiful, my uh, Virgos. Again, thank you again for the love and support you always show for this channel. And, yeah, just make sure you like if you haven't already, make sure you like, you comment. Let me know if there's something that you have been a little fearful about. You don't know whether you should, you know, go forth with it. Spirit is definitely saying it's a yes because you will transform. Okay. So, yeah, just hit me up if you want a... A personal reading again it's mystic storm 333 at gmail.com follow me on social media mystic storm 333 I'll be there and yeah we are definitely clearing paths to a new life and it's going to be bright and beautiful you just have to have confidence and faith in it all right my Virgos I will see you in the next one bye